Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Genshin Impact. Uh, kind of vibing on this music. Nice and peaceful. Alright, let's check the achievements. Wonders of the World. Um, or a new storm. Banish the attacking, uh, the dragon attacking Mondstadt. Alright. So we can go ahead and get five Primo gems. All right, we got them. And let's go back. We got some other stuff going on here. What is this? Notices. Um, how to unlock the Astrolabs chapter quest? Okay. Um, oh, it looks like the librarian there. And issue notice. What is this? Alright, so there's something. That's cool, though. I really love games where the developers are communicating so frequently with notices about bugs or upcoming events. When there is that level of transparency, or at least that frequency of communication, it really shows that somebody cares about the game and that it's going strong and it's a big vote of confidence for me to want to continue so i know it's early of course they're going to be that way hopefully but um it's still nice to see let's check my mail um oh i get a player preference survey for 50 primo gems and thirty thousand mora um I also got a bunch of Mora for something else. Um, and I'll take it. Oh, they just give you Mora for these messages. Uh, I am going to do those surveys, but I actually want to play the game right now. So let's do that. Um, now, what is going on? Wait a minute. I have something on my map. And something on my character, so let me check that. Oh, that's right, I got this new character. Hello. She looks boss. I don't know why she has like a... No, she has a dress. That's cool. I, I, for a second I thought it was like a apron, like she was a French maid, but no, it's a, it's a dress. It's cool. And then the map. What are you showing me here? Um, is that where I'm supposed to go? Or did I mark that on the map? Anyway, we know where we're, we need to go to one of these temples, right? Um, Alright, I'm going to leave. And I'm going to just go out into the town. And see... What I can do. Something to inspect. History of Kings and Clans. Prologue. A comprehensive history of Mondstadt edited and compiled by the history people. All right, cool. So I'm going to pick up all these books. Hopefully they don't take inventory space, if that's even a thing. But this looks like a lot of um, context, flavor, that I can get if I want to learn about the world. And I do. I might not do this um, on camera. I might read it on my own time, but at the same time, maybe it's interesting for everybody, so I might poke around in one of these. Um, okay. We got the sparklies. Wow, this is a nice place. Man, look at that balcony and the uh, inlaid square molded ceiling. Very fancy. Um, I'm going to go poke my head around just to see what's upstairs. Don't mind if I do. Everything's kept in good order. Okay. They mind if I do. You can't actually go up there. That's sad. Can I open this? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. 
there's books glowing everywhere. My goodness. I mean, this is a mobile game, right? Or at least it's available on mobile platforms. You do not normally get this much story. This is like Skyrim. At least, it feels that way. If I open it up, it might be like one word. I'm going to sit down. What happens if I sit here? I just chill? Just look good? Yep. Yeah. That's a really high back on this chair. Okay. I'm going to go into my inventory. And I've got all these weapons that I got from the packs that I opened. But let me see. These are weapons, artifacts, uh, character development items, in food, materials, and then these are the quest items. Uh, so this is Vera's Melancholy 1. I don't think the world is monotonous. It's just that in, um, it's just that interesting things happen in faraway galaxies. Ah, the great adventure of Vera, an ordinary girl always fascinated by distant lands, secretly begins. Whoa, yeah, this is like Skyrim. I mean, look how much information there is here. I'll tell you what. Um, I will read this on my own time because I want to play the game, but if you all want this stuff, like, I could maybe make a separate episode where I just read all of the <laughs> books to have it on record so that we can know what's going on in the game a little bit more. Heart's Desire, Crystal Glaze, Legend tells of a corner of the harbor that has been forgotten by the mountain rocks and the sound of the crashing waves. To reach that place, one must stand in the sea breeze and close their eyes, walk 49 steps away from the clamor of the crowds, then wait till the sound of one's own heartbeat drowns out the voices in the background. Upon opening one's eyes, one will find they have arrived at a little shop. Wow. Um, <laughs> this is amazing. I had no idea there was this much um, depth in the game in terms of lore I'm going to pick all this stuff up and if you guys want me to do an episode where I just read the books um, to have it all on record I will definitely do that trust me I, I have no problem reading to the class I do that all the time library rules what are the rules 7th edition. Man, these are serious. There were several editions of the library rules, but none of them were particularly useful, so all unnecessary rules were abandoned in this edition. All users of the library should obey the following rules. Please keep quiet. Do not damage the books. Please remember to return your books on time. I believe everyone knows how we deal with violations. Uh-oh. So it will not be repeated here. We hope everyone can abide by the above rules and make good use of the library. Jeez. Look, somebody left their teacup. I mean, I'm all for having tea, but... You told us not to damage the books. I guess we just better be careful or we get whatever punishments you're going to dish out. Man, this library is sweet. I hope I don't have to return these books on time, though. There's books everywhere. I'm going down. Oh. There's Ella Musk, a scholar of Hilachurian linguistics. Well, hello. Ye Ika Gusha Moisi. Um, uh-oh. Come again? Um, oh, sorry. I was off in my own world. That was Hilachurian for hello there. Have you eaten? Why does it sound so hostile? Are you questioning my academic credentials? Hmm, well, I suppose that's not unusual. 
Hilcherlian linguistics is severely underdeveloped as an academic discipline, so I still have a lot of questions regarding the exact meaning of certain words. The biggest gap in Hilcherlian linguistics is field work. If I had the chance to communicate face to face with a Hilcherl, um, or yeah, Hilcherl, it would be to shed light on so many of the burning questions. It's just, it's just what? Sigh. It's just, it's difficult to find anyone who would ever dare to approach a Hilcherl let alone try to talk to them. If someone could test out my theories on my behalf, that would be great. Well, I approach Hillichurls all the time. It's just usually in um, a murderous stance. So I'm not afraid. I just don't know if I can talk to them for you. I could try. Uh, it wasn't even an option. Can I talk to you again and offer my assistance? Um, all, right, all right, we already did this. Uh, goodbye. That means goodbye and have a nice trip. Okay. I'm going to change to her. Just walk around. Man. I cannot believe. There's more to this library? Wow. I could spend some time in this library. Just curling up with the books. Knocking over my ink bottle getting fines. I'm just picking it all up. I missed one over here. Oh, I missed one on the table. In that stack. They're going to find out. They're going to realize we're down 50 books. Someone came through here and took what appears to be 50 of our finest works. It was me. Alright. More books over here. By the way, these are like, a, you know, just staples of elegant libraries, but these ladders to get to the tall bookshelves, I love them. I love when they can be moved around the area like they they're set in a it, with rollers and you could I mean it's they're just so awesome. I'm a huge fan. Another book right here. All right, I'm just going to kind of do a little sweep of the area to make sure I have stolen all the books that I can and then I'm going to go open this door see if it opens. It does not. All right. Wow, I was just kind of offhandedly exploring um, this fortress or um, headquarters or whatever, and I didn't realize that by opening that door, I was going to just step into a world of books. Oh, even more. The Fox and the Dandelion Sea 1. Let's take our books and bail. All right, so that's what was over there. It was just a massive chamber. Um, if I look in my inventory now, I have acquired... Let's see, there's nine across. 36, 37, 38... 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 books that I took out of that place, I think. Um, that is fantastic. All right. Let me look at my characters, by the way, and see what Noelle needs to equip. She has nothing on, and she's level one, so I should probably get her sorted. Let's give you... Whoa, okay. Let's give you a weapon. Um... You currently have on what? This. Uh, compare. Well, we've got a bunch that do 39 here. So it's really just a, a question of um, do we want the HP boost or the attack boost? And then... After using an elemental skill, normal or charged attacks on hit, deal an additional 60% attack damage in a small area. 
It can, it can only occur every three seconds, and it lasts 15 seconds. Um, no, I think I like this one. I don't really feel like I need hit points right now. Whoa, look at that. That looks sweet. Um, let's go ahead and give you some artifacts while we're at it. You can certainly have um, the pocket watch. I'll give you some defense. Uh-huh. Profile. Oh, voiceover. Yeah. My name is Noel, mate of the Knights of Favonius. And it's my pleasure to be joining you on your adventure today. Should you encounter any problems at all at any point throughout your journey, please do not hesitate to call me, and I will be delighted to provide you with my full assistance. Yes, starting right now. What do you need? This is hilarious. I love that uh, you can just get in. I mean, I had no idea. I thought this was just letting you hear what she sounded like in certain things so you can get her voice. But no, they're telling you this is like her explaining her story to you in a way you know through this information you get to know the character unbelievable so now there's even lore on the characters now i have this guy looks like he's um wind fire and electricity perhaps anyway great um, let's leave the headquarters. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. Exactly. I was thinking the same let's thing. Start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Yes. We need to go to the blacksmith for sure. So, he, um, hold this to go to the character screen. Use available weapons. Um, wait. I'm sorry. Go here. Enhance. Auto enhance. Okay. Well, that does make it a lot better. But, um, can I actually go back? I might want to change weapons. Yeah, I have better ones. So... Using an elemental burst grants a 12% increase. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather use one of these swords, even though I've already enhanced my other weapon. So I'm going to equip this sword, and then we're going to enhance it. And I'll auto-add. And yeah, we get this up to 61. And it boosts the energy recharge bonus, so do it. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that, we almost doubled the base attack. Did it. All right. And my sword is floating again. Feeling good. All right. So the blacksmith is this way. I mean, I'm not really staring at anything. I'm just going to fly down to the blacksmith. I hope you don't have a problem with this. Using my wings. All right. Let's get to this blacksmith and see what we can do, right? Well, actually, no, they're, they're not really taking me to the blacksmith. They're really borrowing from standard MMO with the name placards uh, over the characters with the title and affiliation of information in carrots or a different color like that. That's interesting. Um, the Adventurer's Guild. Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. Welcome. Can I claim my ranks? Do, what do I get? Oh, I get stuff? Yes. I get Wanderer's Advice. What is this? Just experience? Gives a character a thousand. Beautiful. And then I get some enhancement and 10,000 Mora. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, look at all this. I just got all this? Sweet madame. A quaint faint? I don't even, I don't even know what a quaint faint is. Perfect. Well, I should probably look at it. That is amazing. All right, so I just got a bunch of stuff. That's right. There is the blacksmith. It's a man hitting something with the hammer. The telltale signs of a blacksmith. Let me go over here and go to shop. What is this? Um, Blessing of the Welkin Moon. Instantly get 300 whatever that is. Daily gift whatever that is. It's five bucks. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't have any of that currency. Um... Paimon's Bargains, Intertwine Fate, or Acquaint Fate. And I do actually have enough to... Not enough yet, but um, and I can get crystals. So, I got this Acquaint Fate thing. Is that um, an item that I use? How do I do this? Is it from, thing, from the Wish screen? I need to figure all this stuff out. Um, I have eight wishes, so I can't get her. But I can try to get well, that person, or I can open these packs, um, I guess. No, I only have one of these. Um, no, it's not from that screen where you do that. I have this quaint fate thing. What does this do? Let me look at my inventory. Excuse me. Um, let me try to find this thing. Yeah, here it is. A seed that lights up the night. No matter the distance apart, guided by the stone's glimmer, the faded... Oh, okay, so a quaint fate is basically one unit of those things that I need to open a pack. So they gave me, like, one pack, basically. Okay. Now I get it currency used to purchase rare resources from the shop. Okay. Alright, so I could open one pack, or I could try to save up those things to, like, guarantee I get somebody. Anyway, let's go to the blacksmith. I have no idea what I'm doing, or what the smart thing to do is, but let's talk to Wagner here. <sighs> Why? Um. I'm looking for a weapon. Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Thanks, Mr. Gruff. Wow, he does bespoke weaponry? Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All right, thanks, M Mr. All you Friendly. Need is the ore. Where can I get the ore Anywhere. from? Everywhere. Very helpful. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the merest deposits are. Thank you. Bring some back, and I'll help you forge what you need. Thanks. No need. I have other things to do. Okay. I'm really inconveniencing this guy. Like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Take your pick. You'll find no second round. Um, all right, so... He's saying take my pick from... Over here? I don't even know what he means to say, but whatever. We're just going to explore. Look around. Hey, there's something up there. A mushroom. I've gotten it. Alright, so I need to meet Amber at the temple. Well, we'll do that in a moment, but... Um, do I have different quests that I can be doing... Let me look. Yeah, because sharpening the axe won't hinder the work. All right, let's do this one instead. I want to just, you know, make sure that I'm well equipped before I venture wildly into some dungeon. Is this a treasure chest? Oh, my goodness. Look at all this stuff I just got. Yes. There's just a treasure chest lying around. People were telling me um, when I was streaming the game the last time that there are secrets everywhere and I should, like, explore. And I'm totally seeing that that's part of the game. Also, I can Spider-Man the walls. 
So I can do that to even explore more. There's a mushroom, for example. I hope no one minds that I'm just scrambling on the rooftops. All right. One thing I do need to do is go in here to my character screen, and I want to level up everybody that I can. Um, I have a bunch more of these things, and I got a bunch of money. Um, so let me max level my guy. But if I do... No, I don't think I should do that. I think I should probably level up um, Noel. Oh, and there's a new artifact for you to use. What is this? Um, the Traveling Doctor Silver Lotus increases incoming healing by 20% because you get the two... Yeah, now you got a two-piece set bonus and it gives you a bunch of hit points as well. Cool. All right, let me go into your... Um, I don't have any of this stuff. Let me just go ahead and level you up. So what can I do in terms of leveling you up? I could level you up to level 8. And it would cost me 5,000. I would use all my experience items. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I would just use these big ones. Cool. So actually, okay, it's 1 plus 8. So now she's ninth level. Terrific. And then I can just use this to level her up a little bit more to like 13th level, I guess. Cool. So let's get her a little bit stronger. So now she's slightly stronger than Amber. What is this? All right, anyway. Um, okay. Now let's get back to exploring and check out the world. I'm going to go try to get this ore that Captain Grumpy requires. All right. And on my map, it is saying that the ore is maybe around this area. So let's go do it. I could I could teleport there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to eat some food. I'm missing a little bit of health. Maybe I can do it at that campsite. Mint. Hey, the art of cooking. Yes, cooking? that's what I'm talking about. Speak to Lim. Yeah, let's let's talk to her. Let's pick up this apple. Oh, is my food full? Oh no no no, never mind. I'm it's a cooking screen. All right, let's talk to Lin. Um, what should I cook next? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? That is correct. No, we just happen to be passing by. Man, she's spilling the beans. What are you cooking? Smells good. I Does. see. Welcome, travelers. Thank you. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Cool. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. I couldn't see that, but I, I see you have garlic on your backpack, and that's cool. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. It seems like a good rule. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics. Picnics My are nice. My partner here is good at cooking as well. I can only cook a few That's simple okay. dishes. Let's see what you can do. Uh oh. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. Man, she's really singing her own praises. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Okay. Oh boy, the stuff just exploded out. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. All right, I'm gonna nice cook. To I'm gonna make a chicken mushroom skewer. Um, I guess he'll make it. I can change the character. This is fine. Cook it. Wow, there's like a cooking mini game 
Okay, then. Make another one. Alright. Well, it's not too challenging. It seems... I mean, this is an easy recipe, I guess. Uh, sort. By... Can you just sort by, like, what I have the actual ingredients to make? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I made nice it. To meet you. Check it out, Lynn. Is it done? Mmm. Smells good. Why, thank you. Let me try. You're gonna eat mm. my food? Mm. She just mm. ate it. Mm. Lynn. Uh, that was mine. Uh, now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. I am a gifted chef. Hyman told you so. Well, thank you. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Okay, I will. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Well, thank you so much. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. I won't? There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, I will. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! Uh-oh. Cool, so she gave me some stuff. I completed the quest. Um... All right, um... Yeah, let's... Quick, I mean, I need to use this quick thing, um... More often. All right, so... Let's go into our inventory, and let me just check food. And go ahead and just, uh, use this on... My dude. Boom. Now we're full up. Alright. So this looks like the temple. But I'm here to try to find ore. I'll take a mushroom. I'm not I'm not above a mushroom. Um, did I already talk to this is it teleporter? It looks like I did. Alright, we're climbing up this sheer rock face. Because I'm an unbelievably skilled climber. I love that you can jump while you climb. That is brilliant. Alright. There's some hilly churl. I can go talk to them about uh, the ore that I need. And I'm sure that they'll be friendly and forthcoming. Let's go take them down. I'm coming up there if I can, buddy. I don't appreciate you being up on that thing. I can't come up there? Oh, you know what then? Fine. I'm going to have to shoot you. Uh-oh. Bam. Smoked him. And by smoked him, I mean he's still alive. I shot him in the leg. He's dead. Let's pick up some wheat. And let's just break these chests open. See what's in here. Pine cones, apples. Sure, take it all. Let's go back to my main dude. This is on fire because that little thing exploded. That's, you know, you hate to see that. Um, so they weren't even guarding a chest, which is bad. They set up their little, like, fort. All right, I'm gonna. I'm looking all over the place for this ore. There it is. It's down there. All right, I climbed up too high, but I can. It's not actually easy to jump off. I wonder if there's a button. There we go. Circle. Circle does it. Now just glide over here, and then. Um. I'm trying to... Do I have to hit this with my weapon? Yeah. Looks like I do. 
Looks like you gotta you gotta use your weapon to break these rocks up. Can I use my spells? I mean, might as well. Yeah, my magic just devastates this ore. All right, now I can go talk to the blacksmith about how awesome. Um, seize the day. Total logins. Um, oh, I need to be claiming my these rewards. Whoops. Whoops. Test run. Complete Kli trial stage to get this. Um, uh-oh. I don't know if I wanted to do that. Um, character description. Klee specializes in bringing unlimited enjoyment and explosions. Sweet. Be it thrown bombs or mines left in the wake of her elemental skill, jumpty dumpty, she can blow the toughest of obstacles to bits. All right, Klee, that sounds great. Yep, she is throwing grenades, and she has a floating book. I love it. Um, there's her dumpty thing. Oh, my. All right, well, let's go, Klee. Let's see how you do. Oh, your running thing is very amusing. Oh, maybe I need to interact with this. Um, start the challenge. Level 80? Is that for real? Oh my. Okay, yeah, I'm very strong. Now I get it. Do it, Klee. Throw your grenades wildly. Man, those damage numbers are enormous. She is way stronger than I am with... My level 17 character. Good for you. A new entry. Um, well, check it out. Rock shielded hilly churl guard. Protects itself with a shield. Well, yeah, I could see that. Give it. Give it these, and we're just going to throw a bunch of these. Here, come back over to my explodey guys. Yeah, walk through this minefield that I've created for you. Uh-oh. I've been hit. There you guys go. It is my gift to you. You can also have... Oh, no. Whatever this is. Yeah, that looked good. Uh-oh, she's getting hurt. Here, come through this minefield. Cool. Take him down. All right. Oh, it's a big one. Large Geo Slime, a slime that uses a sturdy geo coating to protect itself. If you use heavy geo attacks, a claymore, or strong explosions, you should be able to break through its coating. Okay. Oh, there's more here. Large Cryo Slime. All right, so I need to use Pyro to get through that. I get it. I mean, I get it. I don't know if I actually have what it takes, but... The frozen one, I can deal with a lot better. That did hurt. Alright, alright, alright. Achievement completed. Full metal what now? Well, that's good. I'll take some achievements. Use this thing. I don't know what that does, but we're using it. Do this guy, do this guy. There you go. Keep it going, Klee. One more to go. Challenge completed. Um, e exit the stage. We did it. Challenge ends. Well, that's fun. Just to try out that character to see if you want to buy it. I get that. That's a really cool feature. I mean, she looks awesome. Uh... 
anyway, what I meant to do was use my quick window to go to my map, and then I'm going to teleport uh, here. Oh boy, I pushed the wrong thing. Um, yeah. Teleport. Monstat, teleport. Here we are, and there's the angry blacksmith. Let's go tell him how we did. He's going to be so excited at our progress. As he should be. We did it, dude. What do you want? I got the chunks. Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, I know. It's hard to keep track in your brain, isn't it? These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. Thank you? I I'd like something made. Um. Well, I guess we can make just basic enhancement ore. It takes two. Make all that you can. Start. And so it takes three seconds for each one. Um, okay, interesting. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. Okay, thanks, buddy. You seem in a bad Black mood. Smith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. I see. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Or just trying to be nice. And if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. No, there's nothing else. Keep hitting that. He You're doing a very good job. To his work. Will give him that. Yeah. His temper isn't great, but Our leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. Yes. All right, so um, I'm going to go into my quest screen. Oop, achievements. What's this? Oh, the full metal thing. Challenger Series 1. Full metal what now? Great. Confirm. Um, and then I want to go back to quests. And so... Um, Meet Amber at the temple. Meet Kaya at the temple. Meet Lisa at the temple. So I gotta meet three people through these different temples, I guess. Um, Alright, fun. Well, everyone, I want to thank you so much. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. We did the blacksmith's quest. We tried out a new character. We upgraded a bunch of gears. We leveled up. And we are ready to go to the temple. So we've kind of done some preliminary work. Um, and I'm loving the game still. I hope you're having a blast with it as well. And I will check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Genshin Impact here right at the beginning of the game's launch in 2020. All right. Take care, everybody.